Last chapter we looked at discrete probability and this chapter we're looking at continuous probability. Uh, the main difference is here values don't have to be whole numbers. They could be anywhere between the small value and the large value here. And what we're going to do is look at uniform probabilities where each value has the same chance of happening. If you look at individual values, the probability of an individual number occurring is zero. But what we're going to do is look at a range of values. So everything in a range of values. And in order to compute these, we have to compute uh, the area and then the proportion of the area that we're looking at. Now, there's very few questions that you actually care about the height of this. Uh, all of these are going to be rectangles, so our area formula is length times height, or width times height. Uh, our probability area always has to equal 1, so generally the height is just going to be whatever the width is, uh, 1 divided by the width. So if the width is 3, the height would be one third, and the way you compute the width is always big minus small. So you take the larger value and subtract the smaller value. We'll do examples that cover all this uh, in the videos I'll record next. And your probability that you're going to compute for almost every homework question is the width of the favorable outcome divided by the total width. And the favorable outcome will be uh, different for each problem, but let's say this is a favorable outcome. Whatever that width is divided by the total width right here. And so what I drew is approximately looks like it's about one-fifth or one-sixth, and that would be the probability of uh, us getting a value inside of this rectangle here.